mighty good, but mighty I want to come down here and take Hercules. a look with you. And if, if we could pull one of these uh, whole chickens, please. And I, I, I want us to take a real close look at it. And we'll keep it down low, too. You'll notice that this chicken, as it's been prepared, has had all of the neck skin taken off of it. You'll notice when we turn it over, well, it's got a little bit of the fat here in the, uh, the body cavity. I usually will take most of this fat off, and again, it can go in my stock pot. But you'll see that, you'll see that the, the chicken is a nice, firm chicken. Again, packed in ice, uh, very easy to split. Take a good sharp chef's knife. All you gotta do is run it right down the breastbone and rip it open. Then you can either run down the backbone with a pair of poultry shears or you can use your chef's knife again. If you decide just to split the breast, you can take him, fold him open. And it makes a really great presentation on the grill for the whole chicken to be, to be spread out, the breast spread out. And uh, um, you wanna make sure that you've got a good color when you cook on the grill, you want, that you've colored the, the back side of the, the skin side of the chicken but when you open him up that the breast side is where and the bone side is where you'll put most of the heat and that you if you do overcook it a little bit you're not going to burn it up my favorite things on the grill is the chicken wing you'll notice that these wings are packed in ice that way you're assured of having a good fresh cut of chicken what i do will take the the tip off save it and throw it in the sauce pot to cook it and to make broth and so forth. But that chicken is unbelievable on the grill. It's something that's very quick too. Uh, you can make your own buffalo wings right there on the grill by using a good spice with it. I got it right here. So I come along and, uh, oops, just lift it off there. Off center. Off center. Come along. That's the other side of the backbone. Chicken soup. I was going to say that'd make excellent chicken soup. Well, if my wife was here, we'd be having it for that. But it just makes it a whole lot easier for appearance that way. Now he's going to take out the wishbone. That's never easy. Uh, it just doesn't come out as well. Uh, we'll pull it out. We'll cut our our uh, legs and thighs off, our wings. Have a nice, pretty breast. Take the bones off of the back. Then we'll uh, uh, have just a heart-shaped breast. We'll come along and we'll slice the center out of six of them. And then we'll each taste that center, squeeze it back together, and we'll see which one is best. Every piece of cooked meat has a distinct personality and taste. It's different. The one that comes to mind most is ribs. They're all different. They're dry, they're not dry, they taste better, they taste okay. Chicken is pretty uniform, but it still is different. Pork shoulder butts are almost always the same. With pork shoulder butts, it's either moisture. He's from Agadulce, Glendale, Altalon. What do y'all do when you're not cooking barbecue? He's a computer systems analyst. I'm a manager. He owns a company. Big military parts for our government. Cool. Well, what are you going to do to this chicken? Well, we, we're, we're, we're trying to discuss how we want to sit in the cooker so that when we pull it out, the skin is optimally pretty for you as a judge. We don't want it to be sitting here getting ugly on one side and pretty on the other. And uh, we're going to do six chickens tomorrow, so we're just trying to decide how we want to do it. How Do we want to cook temperature 
independent for the different parts. Uh, pull the breastbone? Uh, the wishbone. The breastbone? Yes. Yeah, yes, yeah. And the backbone. And the backbone. And then we break him in half. Poor chicken. And then you kill him. Then, right. we, kill then him. we kill him. Then we kill him. Then we get cut, cut some uh, wings off. Wing tips on this one. So they don't get in the way. Oh, we can cook those chicken wings. So, we go that way. There's our little chicken. Yeah, that way we still have the pretty skin on yeah, the breast. Yeah, nice pretty skin, skin, skin on the breast. Yeah, that would be interesting to do. We can just use salt, pepper, and season like this. So, do you want to do this one? Or do you want me to do it? You do it, we'll watch. Or Garrett, let Gary do it. Want to do it, Gary? Go ahead. I'm smoking a cigar. <laughs> chicken thighs. And it's got a little rub, a little sauce. That was ready. Yeah, it's a little over ready. I didn't realize it was for long. Is this your turn in? Maybe. I'm not sure. I've got chicken over here, too. It's not hard to far along with that. You fix them the same way, they just put them on yeah, different fix, times? Yeah, they just on different times. Of course, this is cooked with pellets and that's cooked with charcoal. You maintain the same temperature with both of them. Pretty well. Pretty well. Is this your rub and sauce you put on? Yeah. Trimming the breast off the bone here. Bone and just bone and breast out. I'm going to try to. Oh, you don't use the bone for for soup? No, do you want it? <laughs> Might be a little gamey by the time I got it home. You buy these skinless? No, I skin them. I, I bought whole chickens to skin them out. I've got the thighs and legs over there and wings already cooking. You raise these chickens? No, I stole them. Oh, well, that's even better. Then you don't have to I fool like with a mess. Mr. Johnson feed them and then I'll just get them <laughs> while he's asleep. He just thinks it's a fox. Huh? Yeah. You get all the cartilage out of there. You've done this once or twice, I can tell. Yeah, I've done this time or two. I buy whole chickens every time. I don't ever buy parts. I just buy the whole thing. Well, if you buy them right, the price is right. Well, sometimes you can get them for like 49 cents a pound. These is Walmart, I think it's like 69 cents a pound. That's a pretty sharp knife, too. It just rips right through. Well, maybe the chicken's rot. Oh, could be. <laughs> These are fresh and never frozen? Yeah. Well, they wasn't frozen when I got them. I got them from Walmart, and you know, who knows what they've done with them, but I, I assume they were semi-fresh. Well, they're cutting like they are pretty fresh. Okay, now how are you going to prep these? I'm going to put some salt and a little rub on them. Yeah, because these don't have bones in them, they take less time to cook. Yeah, you won't take long, they're not a very thick piece of meat. And the thighs take the longest, is that why they went on first? Uh, yeah, a little bit longer. What are some of the things in your rub? This is your rub? Yeah. Uh, black pepper, red pepper. Uh, garlic, salt, onion, salt. That's 
There's a million things in there. And water. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's clumped together. That's why it's clumped, clumped up. This is a fairly light dusting. Yeah. Were the others dusted this light too? Pretty, pretty well. well that's a pretty, pretty potent rub then, because yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of pepper in. So you put them on the grill and then you put them on the fire. We'll yeah. see y'all. I'll see you later. Don't forget. Come back and see us. I won't forget. Is that sauce hot? Did you test it? I didn't test it. My fingers a little bit dirty. I didn't want to stick my we'll chicken just, juice fingers in there. I'm going to stick them on the chicken fingers. These go on. What temperature is the grill? Uh, Are you going to pull that out? Six around 250. 250. Oh, I'm sorry. And you cook them for how long? Chickens. A good friend of mine from Louisiana. Flipper Anderson taught me how to make, make these. Uh, they do these a lot in the Lafayette area. They do primarily we take a lot of turkey saturated. We open the chicken up, take all the, uh, the neck, the liver, everything out of it, throw it all away because we don't want it for this. Use a little Tony saturated seasoning or any kind of uh, Creole seasoning. We coat the chicken inside and out very generously. All the way up on the inside, turn it over, make sure it's all rubbed in good. Underneath the wings, on the back. Very good seasoning. It's even though it's a very hot, spicy seasoning, it, a lot of it, a lot of the heat cooks out uh, on the pit. We take the chicken, take about a, any kind of cold beer you might have handy. Anything doesn't have to be cold. Usually about a quarter to a half full. Take it, shove it up inside the chicken. And uh, we had another name for us our uh, beer butt line dancing chickens. We then they stand it up on the pit, cook it for an hour and a half to two hours. When it splits on the back side of the thigh here, that means the chicken is done to the bone. It's steamed internally. It's very, very nice. It's coated with a little bit of olive oil during the cooking process. That's it. You based it on? It's basted uh, with olive oil after about the first 30 minutes. Okay. Okay. I, 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 I want to introduce another, you know, gentleman from Japan and uh, Koichi, you know, Hisamatsu. He's uh, now he's uh, cooking for the uh, yakitori. Hi. Hey, how are you? So. I just came here at, uh, three months ago. Uh, sorry, my poor English. So that's all. <laughs> very sorry. But he he bring in the very fresh in you know, Japanese yakitori you know, sauce. So we are very. Yes, barbecue is a very universal language. Yes. Okay, what are you doing right, right here now? He's uh, now he's uh, rotating over the uh, yakitori to even cooking. 
and also we after that we will uh, pour the uh, yakitori sauce. And how long do these okay, cook? So Maybe around uh, 10 minutes or so, very short, because but uh, we have uh, prepared in the last night very late to you know cook and uh, uh, you know, prepare this you know queue. Do they have a sauce on before they go on the grill? No, no, nothing, nothing on this. So during the you know cooking and after the cooking, we will put in this you know sauce. A uh, little is uh, a little bit you know. What are some of the ingredients in your secret sauce? Yes, very much you know a lot of a secret in, in it. So we cannot tell, but uh, you can enjoy this you know very hot sauce. It's good and spicy sauce. Yes, very spicy. Is this in the sauce entry too, or? No, it's a little different, you know, uh, sauce we prepare for the entry. But the uh, base is a little different, but the uh, uh, base for the entry sauce is uh, soybean paste. Two digital thermometers. One's actually the temperature of the bullet, and the other one's the temperature of the, of the chicken. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you got, you got a probe in the chicken. I got a probe in the chicken over there, there, and I just have a regular thermometer drop through the top to monitor my. Oh, so the one in the bottom is not in the fire; it's it's in the chicken. It's in the chicken. It's looping back up and going into a piece of chicken on that top rack. Because I don't like to open my chicken once I get it on there. I like to cook it, you know, 250 to 270, and leave it alone until it's done. How long does it take to get done? It takes about an hour to an hour and a half for thighs. It's a little early. You going to let them rest before you turn them in? Yep. We crisp them up, let them sit and rest. And before I turn them in, I put them back on the grill and glaze them. So that way everything's ready. Seems to work out good for us. So we'll see Is it working for you? We uh, hit second a couple weeks ago at Lebanon. Well, it's got to be working then. Uh, got a 180 in Mobile. So, it's doing all right. You just regular charcoal in the bullet? Yep, it's Kingsford. How do you prep your chicken? Uh, marinate it overnight, a little Italian dressing. Uh, put a little rub on it in the morning. Throw it on the grill. It and do your magic. Hour and 15 minutes. Take it off, <laughs> let it sit for a while, glaze it. Well, it's too hot now. Now, is that apple juice? No, it's olive oil. What I do before I blaze it, just throw it on my grill for a little bit. And it seems to help the skin crisp a little bit. Better. It a little bit too. Dark. Maybe it might be a sudden. Keep rolling. So, hey, if I'm home, I got I mean, well, it might be a little older. You get used to the program. What's going on, Mr. Fred? Good to see you. Everything ever gets so bad. How many thighs do you get to you start with to, to get a turn-in box? I usually uh, buy about 20. Um, you know, I'll buy about 20 with it all the way through. Out of that, I narrow it down to about 15 pieces that I like to start with, based on 
just appearance and shape. Um, the final glaze batch will have about 12 in it, and then of course we pick six of those, eight if we can get them in the box. That's how it narrows down as far as number wise. Fortunately, chicken's cheap, so we're too much. About it. <laughs>